Hello everybody. Today we're going to be cleaning Konica Minolta Regis Sigma 2 cassette. So first of all we have the ATXCR cleaner and we have the cassette tool opener from Konica. This is the tool that sh um, should have come with when you purchase the system. And we have just a general purpose cleaner. And we've got two um, lint-free cloths. And we've got a piece of paper as well in case you need it. So we first start by cleaning the exterior of the plate, of the cassette. Um, just go very gently on the lint cloth and then start wiping the exterior. Make sure it's all nice and clean. Turn it around. Just go nice and clean in the corners. Make sure there's no contaminants or any sort of body liquids that may damage the plate when we open it. Now we've cleaned our cassette. We get the cassette tool and we insert the cassette tool just like that. So I'll show you again. So these two clips pushes these two notches at the same time. It pretty much slides. And these little guys here, they just sit on these two little notches. So this is to allow access to the cassettes. There we go. So once that's in there, we can just pop the cassette out just like that. That's it. Now I will turn the plate around. There we go. Now if I push this, it will pop the plate out. There we go. The plate just popped. So I can just take the plate out, just like that. And we have full access to the plate now. So we can clean this plate. I'll get my other clean lint-free cloth. And you just go very gently, just like that. I mean, this plate is new, so it's already, it's not much to clean really on this. Um, here we go, so it's all done. And I can touch the back side of it, so the important part on this is, so the blue side, um, uh, you can touch it, but the front side, which is the white phosphor side, you shouldn't touch it. So in that case, if you had to, you can use a sheet of paper and then touch it that way. So that's the blue side, you can touch, and the white side, you you cannot touch. Um, if you touch it, not a, not a big deal, you can just clean it again. Now we're going to enter into the plate. So just like that, so that's still open. We just feed this in, just like that. Here we go. It's right in there. So once you're in here, you can just go from the corners a bit. Here we go. And we just need to give a little bit of a push to sit it right. So you just push it a little bit. There we go. And then leave it, just like that. So I'll show that again. Pop it, it pops, I go like this, so once you hit the end, you just go to the corner of the plate, push it a little bit more down, and then leave it like that, there we go, so it's all sitting down properly, I'll just check, it's not quite right, push it to make sure, Yep, it all seems to be good. 
Now we push the cassette again. The entrance. There we go. So at this stage, you shouldn't see any gap here. Um, there shouldn't be any gap. I cannot see anything at the moment. So notice I still got the tool attached as well. So now we can take the tool out. So first you start from the bottom, bottom up, there we go, and take it out that way. And don't forget to close this while you're working on it. You can just trip on it and make a little bit of a mess. <laughs> Thanks very much.